Hello, Roy here on my channel Roy Reads Anything, booktube channel, talking about books and one sort of book I like to read is detective stories. February last month was a, a month-long event, Holmes is Where the Heart Is, all related to Sherlock Holmes, the, you know, one of the great original detectives who had a lot of followers and imitators and characters who appeared to fill the gap when he was either dead or Conan, his author was dead or both. Um, so hence the prompt for the, the legacy was when the idea was to find a character you thought was in some way the legacy of Holmes. Now I'm, I'm late with this because we've been away but thought I'd do it anyway. So let's don the appropriate headgear. The character I'm going to talk about is... Loveday Brooke, Lady Detective, in stories by Catherine Louisa Perkis. Loveday Brooke. So, these stories appeared in 1893 in a magazine called the Ludgate Magazine, shortly afterwards in a book. Then they've been collected and anthologised in various ways. So, one thing, one way of following on from Sherlock Holmes and doing something different is to change the gender of the protagonist. So although Loveday Brooke was not the first female detective, she's one of the very early ones. And it's, uh, she works for a detective agency. There's a really good introduction in this edition by Michelle Slung, uh, which points out that she's a type of, a type of woman who you see in fiction quite a lot who was a, an unmarried woman who has to work in some way. Think of all the governesses you get in, 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 uh, in novels, for instance. Um, and why there were such people is partly simple maths. There were more women than men. So not every woman could get married, even if they, even if they wanted to. So, uh, so this is a thing that probably pretty rare that they were detectives, but it's kind of a part of the scene of Victorian Victorian society and Victorian writing, I suppose. Um, so, description of her. Loveday Brooke, at this period of her career, was a little over 30 years of age and could be best described in a series of negations. She was not tall, she was not short, she was not dark, she was not fair, she was neither handsome nor ugly. Her features were altogether nondescript. Her one noticeable trait, this is really cool, was a habit she had when absorbed in thought of dropping her eyelids over her eyes till only a line of eyeball showed. And she appeared to be looking out at the world through a slit instead of through a window. So there's a sort of a cool affectation that I've been practicing to see how cool it looks. <laughs> Drunk, dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, Don't do that again. <laughs> Her dress was invariably black and was almost Quaker like in its neat primness. That's what she's like. Now, the, the cover on this is, is a great edition by, by Dover Books, who are a real publisher. So, this, this rather elegant lady is probably not quite as described. But compared to some of the print on demand versions on Amazon, this is like a model of textual faithfulness. So the, the people, or maybe they're just, maybe it's some sort of automated bot process. The people who take public domain texts, bung them on Amazon for, you know, for little money or as a trap for the unwary. With this, with these, uh, these stories, they tend to have just, it's, it's like somebody just put Lady Detective into an AI machine. So you see pictures where she's got a cigarette dangling out of her mouth. She's brandishing a gun, um, wearing trench coats and fedoras, even in probably the best of all, wearing <laughs> kind of kind of leather cat suit that's unzipped down to the navel to reveal two half bosoms. Um, what? Blimey! 
Mm. Racy, isn't it? Yes, so anyway, leaving aside inappropriate covers, this is a pretty good version to get because you, you know, you, you get ni a nice, clear, clearly typeset bunch of stories with the original illustrations. Um, and so, what do you get? You get some solid mysteries. That description of her sounds like she's almost a cipher and has no personality, but she she has a sly wit that develops as the stories go along. So that's one thing that's great about them. Um, she's often, because she's like the genius detective, so that's the sort of um, Holmesian bit of it, really. She can perceive patterns in things that nobody else can, and often she's like, doesn't you know she walks into a room people are expecting her to do all sorts of detective-y things she's already seen what she wants she doesn't believe your red herring of the obvious criminal she's she's working it all out in her head and kind of annoying people by but how can you possibly you know the how can you not think it was it was this solution but she knows uh, so she's often sort of at odds with her superiors and and clients you know and that can be quite amusing because of her sort of, um, like I say, kind of a dry wit. She's also in a variety of situations. So sometimes it's country houses, sometimes it's the slums. And you get lots of cool Victorian detail, particularly things that have only like emerging, you know, electricity, bicycles, the cosmopolitan population uh, is, is part of the part of the fun of the stories. There's a, um, ah, what's the word? Uh, I think the best story is one where the background is religious, religious groups and sects. So how, as well as the different denominations and how wildly different they could be and how people were sort of committed to them. Um, you also had sort of charismatic preachers and, and how that could be abused for crime. Uh, so that's the story, The Ghost of Fountain Lane. Set in Brighton, my hometown, which but we, we like it doubly. Uh, so, yeah, the Loveday Brook, Lady Detective. I've, I've not come across any sort of pastiches or updated stories with her in. There is a, a theatre group who use her, have used her in a couple of interactive plays over in the Washington area. Um, but other than that, the, the book is what you get. Love Day Brook. So that's my legacy. Legacy of uh, legacy of Holmes contribution. Uh, really good discovery for me. Hope you enjoy them if you if you track them down. And that's it. I'll be back soon with something else.